Cologne Cathedral is Germany's most visited landmark, attracting an average of 20,000 people a day. It is the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe and features immense twin towers that stand 157 meters tall. The cathedral was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. We visited the Cologne Cathedral on May 29, 2023. The main entrance shows the 19th century decoration. The site of Cologne Cathedral was occupied by Christian churches since about the 4th century. An older cathedral was destroyed by fire in 1248, and immediately thereafter work began on the present cathedral, which was designed in the Gothic style in emulation of French church architecture. The construction of this Gothic masterpiece took place in several stages and was not completed until 1880. Cologne Cathedral was badly damaged by Allied air raids in 1944, but the medieval windows had been removed beforehand. By 1948 the choir had been restored and was again in regular use, as was the rest of the interior by 1956. In the late 20th century work began to repair the effects of acid rain on the stonework. The altar piece in the Lady Chapel, on the south wall of the choir, was made in 1445. The cathedral's oldest stained glass windows were crafted in the 13th century. More modern in style is an immense stained glass window by the Cologne-based artist Gerhard Richter, completed in 2007 as a permanent replacement for 19th century glass that was destroyed in World War II. Richter's window consists of more than 11,000 square panes in 72 solid colors, arrayed seemingly at random within the many mullioned window. The crucifix of Bishop Jero, of the 10th century, is the oldest known large crucifix in the world. The art treasures of Cologne Cathedral are many and varied. Near the high altar is the massive gold shrine of the Three Kings, containing what are said to be relics of the Magi who attended the infant Jesus. The shrine, a masterpiece of medieval gold work, began by the noted goldsmith Nicholas of Verdun in 1182, and completed in about 1220. It was originally installed in the predecessor cathedral. The shrine was opened in 1864 and was found to contain bones and garments. Repair and maintenance work is constantly being carried out in the building, which is rarely free of scaffolding, as wind, rain, and pollution slowly eat away at the stones. The NGOs, established to build the cathedral and keep it in repair, is said to employ the best stonemasons in the Rhineland. Half the costs of repair and maintenance are still borne by the NGOs. At the time of its completion, Cologne Cathedral was believed to be the world's tallest structure, a distinction it held until 1884, when the Washington Monument was finished. It continued to be the world's tallest building until it was exceeded by Ulm Cathedral, Germany, in 1890. The cathedral has 11 church bells, four of which are medieval. 
Two of the bells, weighing 10.5 and 5.6 tons each, at that time was the largest bell in the Western world. Those were installed in 1448 and remain in place till today. About its authenticity, Cologne Cathedral has lost its original architectural context. But form and design, use and function of Cologne Cathedral have remained unchanged during the centuries of construction. All the work, from the 13th to the 19th century, was carried out with scrupulous respect for the original design, and this tradition was continued in the post-World War II reconstruction. In this respect, Cologne Cathedral may be considered to be of its own kind and hence its authenticity is absolute. Thank you all for viewing this documentary.